Hey guys, this is going to be my January favorites. I have a lot of favorites this month and really random stuff. I have a mommy favorite, jewelry, shoes, and makeup. Let's start with the makeup because this is really the products I'm going to show you have just been all that I've been using for this entire month. So starting with eyeshadow, it's NARS Cairo and I rediscovered this in my collection this past month. I totally forgot that I had it. I've been trying to spend a little bit more of my love on my single shadows and not so much on my palettes which is kind of the habit that I've gotten into. And when I reached into my cube and found this one, I really honestly totally forgot that I even had it, but it's such a pretty almost like rosy taupe color and I've just been using this as an all over lid color and sometimes I blend it up into the crease. It's a satin. It has very, very, very fine, 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 fine shimmer. It doesn't translate onto the lid. It's just a really good neutral color for your eyes. It's a one color sweep and go. Sometimes it kind of looks a little bit different if you put it into the crease too, which is, I love when that happens with shades because it's just kind of like more bang for your buck, but love this on its own. It's also a really great crease color if you want to do a more matte shade on your lid or even a shimmery one. It's beautiful. I don't know why you cannot get this on Sephora's website anymore. I'm not even sure if you can get it in store at Sephora, but I know you can still get this on Nordstrom's website and also NARS.com. I've kind of been in a blush rut lately. I was wanting, I feel like all the blushes that I normally tend to gravitate towards this time of year is like the dark purpley browns, like NARS Sin is usually my go-to or Tarte Exposed, but recently I've kind of been wanting a brighter color on my cheeks, which is not not the case usually with me, but this has kind of been that color for me. It's the Dior Rosy Glow in Petal number 001. It's just kind of like that just in from the cold, just ran a mile, really rosy flush to your cheeks. It's apparently one of those like universal colors that just mixes with your chemistry to give you your own customized blush color, but it's the most pink blush that I own, but it doesn't come up like I feel like this is a shade normally that would look best on blondes and lighter complexions and not on brunettes with darker complexions or olive skin, but for some reason this just really works. Of course, this is the first day I haven't used it because I put all my favorites aside and was when I was getting ready I didn't have it, but so I don't have it on now, but most of my videos that I've been posting lately, this has been the blush and the Cairo on my eyes too. I just love it. It's a really just a nice like pop of pink. There's There's no bells and whistles to it. There's no shimmer or satin. It's just kind of like an easy breezy poppy pink for your cheeks and I really really love that and I love the packaging. It's really pretty. Nail polish. I showed this to you in a haul video. This is Essie's Bikini So Teeny. It's what I have on my nails now that's actually chipping already. I just painted my nails two days ago but I love this. It's like a really good periwinkle blue. I tried to go into my collection to see if there was any comparable colors and the only one that I found that I have, I'm sure there's other colors out there, but the only one that I had to show you to compare is this one by Sinful Colors and it's Sale La Vie, number 1196. I got this at Walgreens I think last year, so I don't know if it was part of like a summer collection or if it's part of their, their main line, but um, it's very different than Essie's Bikini Sotini. This is more of a blue base and this one I feel like has a little bit more of a lavender base to it. This one just is a true periwinkle whereas this one I feel like is a little bit more of a blue tone. So if you have this color and you were wondering I just wanted to include that but I love this color and I'm I'm happy that I didn't find any other colors that match. That tells me that it's okay that I bought that. Next is a lash glue which is really random but I've been using false lashes pretty much all month long. I go in spurts, and you guys know this if you've been watching my videos. Some some months and weeks I just wanna wear lashes every day, and some weeks I just can't be bothered, but this was a month that I've been obsessed with them and just really into them, so I actually went out one night, I forget where I was going, and one of my lashes had lifted, and I didn't wanna take them off because sometimes it ruins your liner. So I stopped into Walmart really quick. It was on my way out, hoping to find some duo lash glue, which is what I normally use. They didn't have it, but instead they had this one, which is the Salon Perfect Strip Eyelash Adhesive. It smells exactly like the duo. I like this so much better. It is white and it dries clear, and the consistency of it is the same as the duo. The duo is kind of just, I feel like, been the end all be all. Like it's the one everybody uses, so everybody buys. I have tried the one in, from Revlon too, and that one was, I like the applicator on it. 
But the thing that I love about this is you only need a really thin amount to make the lash band stick to your to your eyelid, your lash line. And I don't know how, but it just, when you go to remove the glue, it comes off in like one strip. Whereas with the duo, I'm like picking at the lash band and like there's just like balls and crumbs of lash adhesive all over my vanity. This one, every time I remove it, it just comes off in one simple strip, and I apply it really thin. I actually use a brush handle, like a really thin brush handle, so I make sure that it goes on really thin, but it comes off so easily, and that ensures that the band is perfect for your next application, and I really feel like this has given more shelf life to my lashes. Normally, I use them three or four times, and I'm done, but my 117, number 117 is from Eiler, I like I'm on my ninth time using them so I really attribute it to this lash glue I don't know if this is an exclusive brand to Walmart I actually think I might have seen this at Target so I think it's just a drugstore brand it was inexpensive and it's really great stuff the next three things I'm going to show you my friend Arazu actually sent to me in two different swaps that, that we've done in the past the first one is Dr. Organic the bioactive skincare cuticle and nail solution solution intensive treatment because I've removed my gels and I've been really just trying to give my nails some TLC, my cuticles have been looking a hot mess. And I've really been relying on this. I do it every night before bed, right before I put on my hand cream. It's awesome, awesome stuff. I have to actually reach out to her and ask her where she got it and if I can order it online. I'm just looking now. The website is drorganic.co.uk. So I don't, I'm assuming it's a, it's a brand um, only sold in the UK, but... It's just organic Manuka honey. That's all that it is. And the smell isn't the best. I mean, it smells sweet. I don't love it, but I it's an awesome product, so I can kind of get past the smell, but I love the tube that it's in. I other than this, I've only ever tried like this like the rosebud salves or the lemony flutter from Lush, which they give you in a huge thing that I just never get through and it's a pot and you have to keep digging your finger in. I love the packaging on this because you can keep it in your purse. It's really easy. I keep it in my nightstand and I just kind of put a dot on each of my cuticles and rub it in and it's great stuff, especially with how dry my hands have been. This has been amazing. I actually would love to like get another one and keep it in my purse because it's just really great to have on the go. And as far as like the packaging, you're just ensuring that there's not like contaminants and bacteria that you're putting into the pot each time. Speaking of pots, <laughs> this is an eyeliner she sent me from Rimmel and it's number 005 in emerald and it's from the Kate, the Kate Moss collaboration I guess and it's just an emerald green and I freaking love this. It's such a good alternative to black and it's just like such an unexpected really pretty look for your eyes. I know green is a really great color for brown eyes, but I really feel like any color eyes, this would look really good. It's dark enough that it gives you that defined lash line, but the punch of green is just, it makes your eyes so pretty. And so many days during this month, I've just used this and mascara and some fake lashes, and I just love it. It's just like a really cool, unexpected twist. I feel like from far away, it just looks like you probably are wearing black liner. And then when you get up close, it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty color. And I'm sure that a lot of brands, any brands, I'm sure Bobbi Brown sells one and even Mac, but this one came with a brush and the quality is really good and it paints on really easily. And I'm just a really big fan. I don't know if you can get this in the U.S., but if you can, I would definitely recommend picking it up. And the last thing I'm going to show you as far as makeup and the last thing that my friend sent me is the Soap and Glory Super Cat Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I actually just finished up my Stila Stay All Day Pen, so this came at the perfect time. It's exactly like it. It's just a really great product. I used it today, and it's just a felt tip, and it goes on really smooth. There's no tugging needed to put it on. It is a, it's a really precise tip, so you can get a cat eye or a wing or whatever kind of flick you want to do at the end, you can do it. I kind of just rest it on my lash line and press it in and it's a really great product. I don't think it's like better than Stila or the best one I've ever tried, but for what it is, the, the, the quality of the product is really great. Okay, next up, these are no surprise if you've watched my channel before, but I needed to just talk to you about the Chelsea Charles Count Me Healthy bangles. Freaking am obsessed with these. I'm wearing the gold one today and the reason I've been obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with these is because 
one of my New Year's resolutions, and I feel like I say it every year and then it falls by the wayside, is to drink more water. But this year, I've been adamantly trying to do it. And that's where these bracelets come in. I have just been re relying on them so much to keep track of my water. And I love them for a few different reasons. The main thing is they, they're jewelry, so they obviously look really good. And then they're functional, so most people will see them on and not even know what, what you're wearing them for or that you're actually using them for something. It's just a bangle, and you move the beads to one side or the other side. Like today I've only drank three glasses, which is not good because it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. But not only is it very satisfying to move a bead and collect and see the progress that you're doing throughout the day, but it's a constant reminder all day long to drink water. For me, it's not like I'm keeping a tally somewhere or I don't know, it's just like always on my wrist, I'm always doing something with my hands, and it's just a constant reminder, and at the end of the night, I get some sick satisfaction out of moving that eighth bead to the end, and honest to God, I have gone every day, here we are, I'm filming this on February 4th, every day since the start of January, I've been drinking eight glasses of water a day. I think I'm actually gonna do a whole blog post on this, which you're probably thinking is ridiculously lame, but, I'm somebody that just never found it easy to do and I just, people say it all the time, doctors recommend you drink a lot of water and it sounds like it's such an easy thing but you just forget to do it, it becomes tedious. For me, the thing I don't like about it is how, how often I'm constantly having to use the restroom and it's just an interruption in my day but there's just something that feels really good about constantly flushing your body out and just keeping everything moving but these bracelets have just been my savior and there's been a few days where I forget to put them on and I rush out the door and I'm constantly it's always like on my mind to drink water and I don't have them and I like I want to like keep track and so when I get home I grab them and I move my beads and it's just like a really gratifying it's a really gratifying feeling and just having these is awesome. They come in pretty much every tone of metal, solid, gold, silver, not solid gold, it's gold plated, but solid, the color of gold. Silver, rose gold, they have beautiful like pave crystals on their newest ones. I actually really like this one too, it's done on a silk cord, and it's silver and rose gold on a black uh, silk cord, and the beads are really easy to move, and they're just awesome. I, I've talked about it I've talked about these two guys before, but when I was pregnant, I used them to count my kicks in an hour. At one point in your pregnancy, the doctor wants 10 kicks an hour, so I was using it for that. And then once Addison was born, I was breastfeeding, so I would keep track. I'd have I'd have a stack on my arm, and I would have one bracelet for um, the amount of times I was breastfeeding her, and I'd have one to keep track of her diapers because in the first like few weeks of life. That's something that the pediatrician uh, wants to be aware of and so that was a great way to keep track especially for a new mom that was sleep deprived and couldn't tell if I was coming or going but they're just amazing. I actually reached out to the company to let them know that I was going to be talking about the bracelets. They did not ask me to talk about them. They're not paying me to talk about them. I simply just let them know because I wanted to ask if I could offer some kind of promo code for you guys in case anybody wants to grab one for yourself to keep track for the new year of calories or Weight Watcher points or water, like I said. So Chelsea, the owner, was so, so nice and generous enough to offer 30% off to you guys. If you wanna pick up your own bracelet, I'll have the promotional code in the description box if you wanna get one or give one. They're great to give as gifts, especially for new moms and people alike. But those are these. I can't be without them. I'm obsessed. They look great by themselves. They look even better stacked. I just can't say enough. And then the mommy favorite that I'm wanting to tell you guys about is by the Honest Company. It's the Honest Conditioning Detangler. And Addison's hair is getting really long and it's very fine. And so it looks great once we're done and out of the bathtub and I've blown it dry. But then sure enough, when she wakes up the next morning or from her naps, it's just like all over the place. And I don't always have the time to like re-dry it and train it again. So. I've been using this as kind of like a refresher to her hair. If we are going somewhere and I want to tame it a little bit so it doesn't look like she just woke up, I'll spray it in her hair and just comb it through. And I also use this sometimes when she gets out of the bathtub if I don't want to use conditioner in her hair or if I just want a little bit of extra moisture to help it comb through. Her hair doesn't have any knots or tangles at the, at the moment, but it just gives it a really nice silky feel. So I've been using this when she gets out of the bathtub and like I said, just 
throughout the day if I see her flyaways or if her hair is just looking a hot mess. So this is really great. I get it in my monthly bundle, but you can also find the brand at Target and Bye Bye Baby, which is amazing. It smells really good too, and it's really good for them, for their hair, and just it's natural and really good for your babies. And the last thing I want to talk about are snow boots, or rain boots actually. They're rain these are by Hunter, and these are not new. I've had these for almost three years now. Um, I love them, and they're all that I've been wearing, especially between all the snow and the rain that we've been having. I when I, ultim when I first bought my pair of Hunters, I just bought the black, classic black shiny ones. And then when I was in a local boutique by my house, I saw the quilted ones because I had never seen these before. And I ended up returning the other ones and exchanging them for these. Like I said, I've had them for almost three years and they still look brand new. You can see how shiny they are. I have both the boot spray and the buffer brick that keeps them really shiny. But I have worn these in the snow, in the rain. Like I said, they still look awesome. A wet paper towel just cleans them right off and they polish to shine. They're just really great. They're insulated on the inside so they do keep your feet and legs warm and they're waterproof. So this is really all I've been wearing this past month and beyond because we're always on the go and I just keep them in my garage and I put them on when I'm running out the door and take them off before I come in the house and they're great. They go well with leggings which is pretty much my daily attire. They look good over skinny jeans. They just look like more of a dressier boot than the classic wellies I feel like that are that just look like rain boots. These have more of a little bit of a style to them and I just I don't know. I was thinking the other day like I need to tell you guys about these because I don't think I've ever talked about them before and if you're in the market for rain boots or even snow boots I mean they're not like snow boots where they're like insulated like I wouldn't go out and play in the snow because they do have a wide opening and snow will fall through but when you're just you know out and about running errands slushing through the snow keeps your feet dry keeps big part of your leg dry and they're great so I wanted to just share my thoughts on those so those are all my favorites I'm sorry if this video was a little bit longer but I just wanted I had so many exciting things to tell you guys about so Thank you for watching this video. Uh, again, I'll have a promo code for the Chelsea Charles bangles in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.